How's it going? Today we're taking a look at a bot who's glad to help. Oh well, that's not his name. His name's Metroplex. He's the leader of Gigantion from Transformer Cybertron. Metroplex comes with the Spark Drinker Axe, his Minicon partner Drillbit, and the Giant Planet Cyber Planet Key. Using the Giant Planet Cyber Planet Key, or any Cyber Planet Key for that matter, you can rotate the head of the Spark Drinker, insert the key into the slot. In his robot mode, Drillbit is fairly limited. He only has rotations at his shoulders, his hips, and his knees. Also, if this design looks slightly familiar, it's because it's based on the Leader 1 from Transformers Armada, the one that came with Megatron. In his robot mode, Metroplex is gigantic. Granted, we have gotten much taller figures since then, but that doesn't change the fact that even by modern standards, this figure is huge. He still towers over Commander class figures such as Jetfire. The presence of this figure is undeniable. Unfortunately, I left mine out in the sun a little too long and some bits have yellowed, but still, I think this figure looks fantastic. While it may not have the best articulation, it's still really fun to handle and pose. And just look at it. This design is so cool and unique. I don't think we've really seen a design like this since the Cybertron series came out. Here's how Leader Metroplex scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. Here's how Metroplex scales with his fellow Gigantian residents, Voyager Class Quick Mix and Ultra Class Menasaur. Here's how Leader Metroplex scales with SDCC Thrilling 30, Titan Class Metroplex. Like I said, we've certainly received some bigger bots in our time, but that doesn't change the fact that Leader Metroplex is still pretty big. Here's how Drillbit scales with fellow Giant Planet Minicons, Stripmine, and Heavy Load. As a resident of Gigantion, Metroplex also has a worker mode. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this mode is for. Maybe it's increasing the strength of the bot so that they can handle larger tensile or compressive forces, but maybe that's just the engineer in me trying to apply real-world physics to fictional giant robots from fictional giant planets. But still, this mode is pretty gimmicky, but I still like the look of it. And again, it kind of suffers from articulation issues. You can see he's in this weird A stance, but unfortunately the lack of an ankle pivot really kind of takes away from the posability. But still, I like the look of this mode. Here's how Metroplex's worker mode scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. Here's Worker Metroplex in his worker mode compared to Worker Menasaur in his worker mode. Sorry about not including Quick Mix in the mix, he's basically the same. In his vehicle mode, Metroplex is a Gigantian Bucket Wheel Excavator. In his vehicle mode, Metroplex looks so cool. Now, I know, it's literally like the bot is just sitting down in like the fetal position, but it still looks so, so cool. And the Spark Drinker axe can plug into the top of Metroplex at two different locations. One gives you more room for the scooper at the end of the long arm to reach, and the other gives you room to articulate the bucket wheel up and down to excavate things. I don't know what they're excavating on Gigantion, but it must be pretty big if they need a bot the size of Metroplex to do it. This mode looks so cool. Here's how Leader Metroplex scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Artfire, and Leader Class Laser Optimus Prime. As you can see, there's a bit of a disparity between Leader Class then and Leader Class now. Here's how Leader Class Metroplex scales with his fellow workers, Voyager Class Quick Mix and Ultra Class Menasaur, with their minicons helping out with the detail work. 
Here's how Drillbit scales with his fellow Gigantian Minicons, Stripmine and Heavy Load. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Cybertron Metroplex. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time.